It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. Despite lockdowns and numerous restrictions due to the COVID-19 pandemic, one welcome effect has been an improved air quality in Iloilo City. According to Environmental Management Bureau Region 6 Director Attorney Ramar Nair Pasqua, air pollution had significantly decreased due in part to the limited operation of both private and public vehicles during the quarantine period. Pasqua said their ambient air monitoring station, particularly in La Paz, recorded a significant decrease in particulate matter emissions. Particulate matter is a mixture of solid particles and liquid droplets in the air, according to the EMB. He explained that there are three major sources of pollutants, mobile, area, and stationary. Pasqua added that the air quality in Iloilo City was good based on the air quality index taken from 37 sampling events since January. Following the proposal to impose sanctions on local government units with low COVID-19 vaccination turnouts, Negros Occidental Governor Eugenio Jose Lacson expressed his opposition. According to Lacson, the national government should first check the reasons for the low vaccination turnout. He also pointed out that it was only recently that vaccine allocations from the national government have increased. So far, 25% of Negros Occidental's 1.8 million target population has been vaccinated. Wednesday last week, President Rodrigo Duterte ordered Department of Interior and Local Government Secretary Eduardo Año to impose sanctions on underperforming LGUs. Agencies were also ordered to make sure LGUs receive enough daily vaccine supply with the goal of administering 1 million doses or more every day. Meanwhile, Laxon is encouraging local chief executives to be more creative in persuading their constituents to get vaccinated. Digital vaccination certificates are now available for all fully vaccinated residents of Iloilo Province. Individuals are now able to generate their digital vaccination certificate using the VaxCert PH portal of the Department of Information and Communications Technology and the Department of Health. The digital vaccination certificate has a verifiable QR code which can be used as proof of vaccination. Governor Arthur Defensor Jr. received the information this morning from visiting officials of the DICT. Defensor, along with Iloilo Provincial Health Officer Dr. Maria Socorro Quinon and Provincial Administrator Attorney Suzette Mamon were also presented their own vaccination certificates. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Elisha Lasaria Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.panaynews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Banai News on Press Reader. Read Banai News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.